The Horden Pavilion cleaning up after yet another rock concert. There's probably a new artist here every week, but uh, few as exciting and electric as Joe Cocker was in 1972, when he lurched and twitched and screamed his way through a dozen songs, sustained only by a small bottle he kept somewhere behind the electric organ. And the government of the day didn't either. It's not really hard to see why the authorities in Australia didn't like Joe Cocker. He drank on stage, sweated profusely, and if he spoke any language at all, it wasn't theirs. Overnight, in Adelaide, John Robert Cocker drew the attention of the Australian press and Parliament. Labor backbencher Frank Stewart called for Cocker's deportation. Cocker was setting a dangerous example to Australian youth. Dr Jim Forbes, then Minister for Immigration, agreed. But before the deportee had been whisked out of the country, he was again under arrest, this time in Melbourne by now Victorian and Queensland politicians had joined in the chorus for Cocker's departure. Cocker himself was confused. Would you come back to Australia on another, another concert tour? Um, perhaps, yeah. You know, I mean... Why did you appeal after having pleaded guilty in the first place? Um, I, I thought I was um, appealing against being deported. Uh -huh. But we couldn't appeal against that, apparently. You know, that's government issue. You just say when you're out, you can do it. So what are you appealing against, if anything? Um, I don't know. We might even drop the appeal. Joe, do you agree that entertainers do have a moral responsibility to, to towards young people the way they behave? Yeah, I suppose so, you know. Well, if you agree with that, you certainly didn't show it at that concert the other night, did you? Well, that's your opinion, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's public opinion. It's it not public opinion, it's a matter of fact. Nonsense. And that issue kept Australian families divided for weeks. If the same problems beset Cocker on this tour, he is finished. Before him, an American comeback or oblivion. <laughs> 